acute heart failure is a syndrome where uh, a patient who either has known cardiac disease or newly diagnosed uh, has symptoms of congestion and fluid overload, shortness of breath, usually at rest, um, fatigue, and oftentimes these people have to be admitted to the hospital to be stabilized and then get on the right therapy. So heart failure is a clinical diagnosis, uh, rests upon the physical exam, mainly elevated jugular venous pressure. Uh, you can hear Rawls on the lung exam, although uh, it's not uncommon that there isn't Rawls. Uh, edema in the lower extremities, uh, orthopnea and uh, paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea are symptoms very specific to heart failure. The, the, pa the population that's most at risk is patients with hypertension or coronary artery disease. Uh, those are classically the patients that are at risk for heart failure. Um, diabetics and um, you know, patients who have arrhythmias, those all can develop into heart failure. Preventing heart failure really starts with good primary care, which includes blood pressure control, cholesterol control to prevent heart attacks or myocardial infarctions. Uh, making sure that any diabetes is treated and, you know, watching, you know, basically maintaining a good healthy lifestyle. The, the focus of my talk today is about uh, acute decompensated heart failure, discussing the normal management and then, you know, possible new managements that will come in the future. And we're going to focus on uh, a few new therapies, including ultrafiltration, a uh, medication called sirilaxin, which is being studied, and then an inotrope called omacamptiv macarbil. And I'm also going to talk about an old drug called digoxin. So I hope to tie all these uh, new uh, therapies together with the old and discuss what's on the horizon.